In this tutorial, we're just going to answer a very interesting question from the next equation. So I'm sure if you look at the question, you're able to say it's very simple. So, of course, I'm assuming you've done a lot of things under electrochemistry and you're already acquainted with the next equation. Okay. So the next equation, this is a equation that helps us to find the, the non-standard cell potential when you're given the standard cell potential. And then, of course, R is a constant, you are given the temperature, the number of electrons, and also a Faraday's constant, and then the natural log of our quotient Q. So all these things should be available. Okay. So Q is determined using the concentrations, and then Faraday's constant is a constant. So constant, constant temperature is given. N is determined from the half reactions given. E is calculated from the reduction potentials and also sometimes it's calculated using the non-standard cell potential if it is given okay so these are the few things that you need to know with uh, this equation okay and then at 25 or 298 kelvins we do know that our formula is simplified to something simple where we now just have 0 0.0592 over n and then log of Q. So now if you look at the question, we've been told the EMF of the cell at that temperature is that. So we've been given the EMF. Also. Now is it standard or non-standard? So looking at the conditions, of course for something to be at standard, of course for the standards, uh, for us to have the standard cell potential, the conditions are 298 kelvins 180 m and what and one molar concentrations of the reactants and the products so in this case if you look at the concentrations that we have they are not standard right so it's non-standard cell potential so the electromotive force is given us is non-standard now what do they want us to calculate they want us to determine the equilibrium constant so equilibrium constant we do know that at equilibrium constant the non-standard cell potential is zero and then the standard we are supposed to calculate from what we have. So this will be the remaining part of a form of equation when we are dealing with what? So log of k when we are dealing with the equilibrium constant. So we want to find the value of k. So notice that we would need to use the value of the standard cell potential. So we would need to calculate it beforehand. Going back to our equation. So our non-standard cell potential has been given to be 0 0.2905 equal to our standard cell potential is what we're trying to find so the number of electrons so this one is very easy for you to tell so oxidation was from zinc to that reduction was from ion 2 to ion so I'm sure you're able to tell that is the difference of two two electrons being lost two electrons being gained right so no need of us balancing anything, we just have to substitute directly. So we'll say over 2 and then now log Q. So what is our Q? Let me just write down the half reactions to help you understand. So the fact that zinc is written first is on the anode, so it's being the one oxidized. So two electrons were being gained to give us zinc 2 plus. And then for the ion 2, we expect the opposite, ion 2 was being what? Was actually being ox reduced. So <laughs> there is something wrong there. Zinc is being oxidized. Electrons are supposed to be lost. So for the ion 2 to gain and then become the ion solid metal. Okay. So oxidation is loss of electrons and then reduction is gain of electrons. So that if you add the positive and the minus 2 to give you a 0, so that's what we are trying to say. So now in this case, our goal is to come up with a balanced equation. So the electrons will cancel out. So what you notice is zinc 2 plus is, is what? Is a product and then the ion 2 is our reactant. So those are the things of our interest here. So Q is always going to be given in terms of the reactants and the products. So it's products over reactants, of course, raised to the stoichiometric powers. OK, 
okay so we're saying our q is in terms of products of what of the reactants so if you're able to remember what from showing zinc is one that was on the products zinc two plus so whenever you're trying to find constants of uh, any given reactants or, or any given reactions you basically don't look at the liquids and uh, and the solids you just look at the gaseous states and the aqua states so in this case we just have aquas so and if you notice they are the only ones that have been given concentrations so zinc 2 plus being our product 0 0.01 so if it had a stoichiometric coefficient of 2 maybe that is going to be in a case where if there was any need of balancing it was going to be the power 2 so if you've done chemical equilibrium it makes sense if you've not don't worry it makes sense as you get there so you have divided by the reactant which was 0 0.01 as well it just has a stoichiometric coefficient of a 1 as well so they are all raised to power 1's and then if you get to divide these guys you notice that they are going to give us 10 of course I've written the the units here deliberately to show you that the constant of an of a re reaction doesn't have any units because we will divide so it's more like a ratio so we have 10 so our Q is equal to 10 and then we can just substitute in the given equation so from there we can find now our standard cell potential so we want to get 0 0.0592 we are dividing by 2 and then multiplying by the log of what? multiplying by the log of 10 okay so log 10 multiplied by 0 0.0296 so of course log 10 we do understand <laughs> that we <laughs> we're not really supposed to perform anything here because this is gives us a one straight away from our logarithms so the other side 0 0.905 plus 0 0.0296 is equal to the standard cell potential so you want to add that to the 0 0.2905 right so our standard cell potential is equivalent to 0 0.3201 volts so we now have our standard cell potential we can now go back to the equation so we do know that whenever we're trying to talk about the equilibrium what is different or unique about it is the standard the non-standard is equivalent to a zero okay and then q becomes k so let me just make those changes here so that is zero and then q is k so that's what we're trying to find k so if you try to make it the subject it goes the other side as 0 0.0592 over n log k so this negative has become a positive equal to standard cell potential so of course you want to multiply by the reciprocal of the fraction so n over 0 0.0592 so that is will cancel out so the same on the other side n on top and then on the bottom 0 0.0592 remember whatever you do to the left should be done to the right hand side as well so I'm sure for you to reach to this at this stage you are following up and you understanding so I've got a couple of videos that you can get to access after registering with Transcended Institute. Electrochemistry has got a lot of videos from the introduction of the galvanic cells going up to the next equation, uh, electroplating, and many more things. From there, the other topics have been covered as well, things like thermodynamics, uh, talking about chemical kinetics, organic chemistry. So make sure you get to register. The link is in the description. And you'll be able to access these tutorials on our platform online just upon making payments okay let's continue so now at this point we have our standard cell potential and then we have n so n still represents the number of electrons that we are being lost again in the reaction so we just want to substitute now and then see what we're going to have so our log of k is going to be n is the number of electrons and then the standard cell potential with which we've calculated is that 0 0.3201 
over at so with 0 0.0592 on the bottom 0 0.0592 so of course we do know that log has got a base of 10 there so our k is going to be 10 the power so we can multiply what we have on the bottom on top 2 times 0 0.3201 divided by 0 0.0592 so I'm getting a value of 10.81 10.81 so 10 to the bat power what do you expect to be the actual value so even at this point it can still be marked so 10 to that power of something like 6.5 6.52 times 10 to the power 10 of course it has got no units so don't stress yourself just like I showed that Q doesn't have any units because it's more like a ratio yeah so th that's it for this video very very important key concepts is make sure you're able to identify the kind of the cell potential that you've given you is it standard or non-standard from looking at the conditions that were provided of course unless it is explicitly stated stated to say it is a standard cell potential don't consider it to be standard unless if all the conditions are matching up okay so thank you very much once more for watching make sure you register to get to access many more tutorials on electrochemistry and other topics